March. And as hurricane season gets closer, just a couple of weeks away, right? We want to do our best to keep you informed and prepared. And part of that is sharing knowledge about how these storms are created and what effect they can have. Tonight, our meteorologist Alan Holt explains what wind shear is and how it affects hurricanes. Wind shear and hurricanes. Hurricanes, they don't like wind shear. Wind shear, what that is, is a changing in wind speed and direction with height. So when you have wind shear, you probably don't have hurricanes because these are what's called warm core barotropic low pressure systems. That's just a fancy way to say that there's no temperature difference at the surface with things, so a lack of cold fronts and it's a low pressure feature uh, that thrives on the warm tropical waters that we observe June through November in the tropics. Normal hurricane wind flow tracks into the eye, the center of the storm, and then rises through the center of the storm before exiting out the top. That's what gives the hurricanes those classic cyclonic looks on satellite imagery. This is under normal hurricane wind flow. When you disrupt that, if a storm comes into wind shear, the faster winds aloft tilt that process. It tilts the core of the storm and that effectively disrupts the wind flow and it can tear hurricanes apart.